Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Washing Dishes, and I am super excited for this no-fry, super crispy wing recipe that I modified from an Alton Brown technique that I've known for, god, 15 years or something like that. I learned it in college. Anyway, so the way this trick works is instead of trying to cook the wings all at once in the oven or in a pan or something, we're going to sous vide them to get them like 80% of the way cooked. Then we're going to cool them off, dry them out, and then fry them so that they are super crispy. So the first thing I'm doing here is just vacuum sealing some bags. I use the roll, so I've got to seal it and then etc. cetera. Um, we're just going to pack the wings into the bags with a little bit of salt, seal it up, and pop them into a sous vide bath at 150 degrees and let them go for like an hour, hour and a half. While that's going, we'll talk about some other things. Stick around, enjoy. This is going to be such a good episode. One hour later. And our wings have been cooking long enough to pull them out, so we're going to get them out of the sous vide and onto a rack that is sitting in a rimmed baking sheet lined with paper towels so that the paper towels can catch the moisture that's going to drip off of the wings while we put them in the fridge to cool off and dry out. Our goal here is to cool them off and then dry out the skin so that there is no moisture on the surface of the skin, which is what's going to allow us to get our nice crispy skin chicken wings without the hassle and assorted other issues with deep frying. Deep fried wings are great. We'll talk about this some other time, but I hate deep frying at home. Long story short, a lot of those stains on the outside of that stock pot are a result of using it to deep fry at home. But yeah, so we're going to get these out. We're going to put them on a baking rack, and then we will get them into the fridge to chill out and dry out. One hour later. We've got some cool, dry chicken wings. Darn Chicken thighs would have been a better rhyme, right? Cool, dry chicken thighs. Anyway, we're going to remove the now damp paper towels and replace it with some parchment paper. And then we're going to pop these into a 450 degree oven. Yep, 450 degrees until the skin is crispy and the chicken is finished cooking through and they are beautifully golden brown and delicious. And there we are, some beautiful crispy wings, and that's it, right? We're good, done, bingo, bango, we've got some beautiful, uh, yeah, no, I know, hang on. I know, I know, these look great, but as we all know, you cannot have wings without sauce, and I'm going to make three of them. Our first one is going to be a garlic and herb oil. We're going to do some mustard seed, some thyme, some rosemary, we're going to add a little bit of basil right at the end, and we're adding black pepper. We're going to let this go on the stove on a really low heat. Just kind of basically bring it up to temperature until the garlic starts to bubble. Set it to low and just let it go, let it go, let it go as long as you can let it go to extract all of the delicious flavors from the garlic and the herbs and all that stuff. And then when it's... Like you'll you'll see the herbs, the garlic will be brown. The herbs will be kind of you know, kind of meh looking. Go ahead. Once that happens, cut the heat and throw in some basil. And then we will just let that sit and for a little bit longer until it cools down to a room temperature. Then we'll strain it out and we'll be we'll have our oil ready to go and we'll use it to sauce our wings once they're ready. Our second sauce is going to be a honey gochujang glaze. So that's going to start with a uh, heavy, maybe a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of gochujang, to which, of course, we're going to add a variety of kind of the, you know, common accompanying flavors. We're going to add some fish sauce. We're going to add some soy sauce, some rice wine vinegar. Obviously, we're going to add a bunch of honey, some ginger, and 
We're going to just kind of stir that together, get everything nice and dissolved. And, you know, just get it like you, you want to break up all the chunks of the gochujang and stuff. Um, but once that's there, we're just going to let it reduce and reduce and reduce until it is nice and thick and glazy. And we're going to add a little bit of honey, uh, extra honey towards the end, just to kind of adjust our sweetness and texture and make sure that it stays nice and thick. Um, usually glazes cool off a little bit, but part of the tricks here is that we're serving everything as hot as is okay to eat because that helps preserve the crispiness of the chicken skin. Oh, I almost forgot. We're adding three Makrut lime leaves. That's M-A-K-R-U-T. Um, they're just kind of like limey and citrusy and floral and really delicious. Um, there's some history behind the name. Uh, Serious Eats has a really good article on it. They're delicious. Don't call them the slur. And don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going to leave you without a classic buffalo wing sauce recipe. Mine comes from a jar. It's Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Hey, you know what? It's just like, it's the wing, it's wing sauce, right? Like, I'm, I'm not going to mess with it. So my ratio is equal parts of original Frank's Red Hots and good old fashioned unsalted butter. We're going to pop that in a microwave safe container. I like this Pyrex measuring cup and we're going to microwave it 15 to 30 seconds at a time, whisking or stirring in between to get it all emulsified. And once it's nice and hot and emulsified, and all the butter's melted in, you've got classic wing sauce. You could add other things to spice it up, like cayenne or chili powder or something like that, if you think Frank's Red Hot is not spicy enough. Uh, if you think Frank's Red Hot is too spicy, you can increase your butter to sauce ratio up to about two parts butter to one part sauce. At, at that point, it starts getting kind of greasy. Now that we've got our sauces ready, let's get saucing our wings. So for the first one, I've got a whole bunch of sh super fine shredded Parmesan. I'm just going to liberally apply that to our chicken wings. Again, we want to maintain a crispy skin. This is going to help with that because it's going to prevent moisture from getting in. And then once we've got a bunch of that cheese on there, the only thing better than shredded Parmesan cheese is melty shredded parmesan cheese so we're going to go ahead and drizzle our herb and garlic oil over our wings and you want enough to like coat them but you don't want to overdo it and make them like greasy so be a little bit conservative at first but you know like get them coated and then we're going to pile on a little bit more of that delicious cheese just to really overdo it there's no such thing as too much cheese, right? All right, one wing down, on to the next. Now we've got our classic wing sauce. We're just going to pour that over the wings. This is actually a little bit more than I need. I mis kind of misjudged, but whatever. And then we're just going to toss this aggressively to get everything nice and coated. I'm using a much bigger bowl than you might think I need. We're just going to get those out onto the plate. Super beautiful. And then it's on to the next with our honey and gochujang sauce. We're going to, again, pour it on. I made a little bit more than I needed. Don't worry. It works as leftovers. Toss, toss, toss. And God, that smells so good. So good. And it looks great, too. We'll get that onto the plate. And there we go. We've got beautiful, classic, traditional buffalo wings. We've got our really amazing Parmesan garlic and herb wings. And we've got our honey gochujang wings. These all look absolutely spectacular and I cannot wait to taste them. Let's get to that right now. Let's go ahead and start with the classics, right? So we've got, this is our Frank's red hot and butter sauce. Nice and traditional. It's good. It's like, what do you want me to tell you? It's a really good traditional Buffalo wing. What matters the most? It's super crispy. Our sauce is low enough in moisture that it didn't sog out the skin. And it's just, it's just a really good classic buffalo wing. Let me finish drinking, finish eating that one. I should have grabbed a beverage. Oh, well. 
Let's go on to our Parmesan garlic wing. Obviously, like I said before, melty Parmesan, absolutely delicious. And the wings with the oil and the cheese is just like salty and rich and bright. And it's so good. I should have had some like chives or something or parsley to sprinkle on top. But yeah, I like the oil's just super delicious. Definitely need a little more of that. And again, because there's no moisture here, they're very hot, but they're very delicious. And now let's get to what is honestly might be my new favorite, like wing flavor. I'm really excited for this one. Again, you can hear how crispy it is. And it's just absolutely spectacular. This was delicious. Like, I, I was really like, I knew this was going to be good. I had an idea. I've made this sauce ish before but this like this is the first time I've put it on like wings that I made this way and it is just absolutely spectacular salty and spicy and rich and just full of umami and brightness it's just like it's got all the flavors like the classics are classic I like them but between like between the garlic and the gochujang, it's got to be the gochujang. The garlic's amazing. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely amazing. But the gochujang wins out. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give these wings to some friends and eat them. And they're going to be amazing because I already did it and they were. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Um, catch me on Twitter at Washing the Wind. On Twitch at twitch.tv slash Washing the Wind. I'm on Instagram at washing the wind, but without the E. And if you like this and want to see more, check out a couple of the videos that I'm going to have up on screen here. And if you want to check out the Alton Brown technique, I'll have a link to that in the card in the top corner. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I appreciate everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your time zone and be safe to quote David Picciuto. Be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and cook something.